Every Pingarin process is different. Right now we're in the middle of a initiative we're calling Experiments in Authorship. Mimi has always been the second or the third person to come to the party. We say, this is what we're excited about. Here's something that's coming out of the actors. What's your scenic response? For this work, it was exciting to say, we're not going to give you anything. There is nothing for you to start with but yourself. Facing the blank canvas and being like, what, you know, like, uh, what am I going to do? We really wanted to take jumper cables and attach them to Mimi's brain and run them to the ensemble's creating, devising mind. I found myself wondering, okay, well, if what we're doing here is that we're going to start with a design, which is then going to manifest into a space, and then a bunch of actors are going to fill that environment, I started just thinking about parallel examples of how built environments can dictate human behavior. And I somehow ended up finding my way to a wastewater treatment plant. Like, I immediately got very excited about it. That would be a great set for a, for a play. I don't know what that play is, but it would be a great set for it. So thinking about this kind of large-scale system and then the small humans within it. I was also thinking about what are the things that I can never do in a normal process? <laughs> like, what are the things that I can never put on stage when there's already a play that exists? Mimi is very interested in a world where the scenic world blends into the acting world this conversation between the small, fragile human which makes this enormous masterwork of urban infrastructure. I feel like this idea about infrastructure for Superterranean, in a way, is almost like a combination of what can I do on stage now that I couldn't do in, in, under any other circumstances, on top of this overarching idea about space dictating human behavior.